Y'all be in my comment section like, what's the buyer's name? How many gigabytes? I'm just like, dang. The girls who got them an iPad, you just know they got their life together. It is your girl, Neek Lavish in the Cut, and I am back with another video. I am going to go ahead and, you know, put you guys on to the website, Back Market. Um, for the girlies and the guys who are not familiar with Back Market, I'm going to give you all the details what it's about, what they sell, and how to find the perfect product for you. So, Back Market is a website where they sell refurbished items so ipads macbooks switches beats you name it they got it the one thing i love about back market is that it's a refurbished website so anything that you are purchasing from back market um somebody else had it they fixed it and they're reselling it i went on best buy i don't know what i was looking for exactly but you know i'm just scrolling looking at you know refurbished items on best buy because refurbished equals cheaper you know i was looking in their refurbished um section and it came across a few items but when i clicked on it it brought me to a whole different link called back market and i was like why is best buy doing that why y'all sending me to a whole different website so i kind of looked into it because i seen that website pop up a few times so i was like you know what let me go ahead and do my research so that's exactly what i did i went on tiktok <laughs> searched up back market and i was just scrolling 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 looking at reviews just to see like what the hype was about because why am i seeing this website you know i feel that as a sign like okay let me let me let me let me find out god trying to book me on so you know i come across back market and i'm like hmm looking at the tiktok reviews i'm like hmm let me check out back market and see if they have you know something i may need for a cheaper price so that's exactly what i did i went on back market and i found me three items that i never thought i would buy in like such a short period of time but i did and i'm so glad i did so one of the items that i did buy you guys is my laptop my beautiful beautiful laptop with a beautiful case honey if you guys can see it is it's gonna focus it's bedazzled honey it's so cute it's so cute so this is one of the babies that i got my first baby that I got from Back Market. Um, this was a big girl purchase. If you guys are not familiar with, you know, MacBooks, they run like a thousand dollars and up. It's, it's expensive. And I always told myself, like I was to my mom and my boyfriend, I'm like, I want a MacBook, I want a MacBook, I want a MacBook. That's all I want. I don't want no HP, I don't want no Chromebook. Like I just want me a laptop that's compatible with my phone, with my AirPods. Like it's so much easier for you to get you a laptop that's compatible with your phone because when i tell you honey when it comes to um editing the videos and you know airdrop magic magic let me go ahead and pull up the app and i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys you know the details on the laptop how much i paid for it um shipping and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and screen record of course i still got the app on my phone so i'm gonna go ahead and hit up back market and click on my profile and we're gonna click on my orders so we're gonna go and scroll down all the way to the one at the bottom um, which is the macbook air 2019 i ordered this um laptop on september 12 2022 and i received it on the 15th y'all i received that crap in three days 13 14 15 y'all three days I got my laptop um, and I do have TikTok videos of me unboxing the laptop so I'm gonna put the video up here and of course I'm gonna put the link to my TikTok down in the description box so you guys can you know follow me on TikTok okay so we're gonna go ahead and click on the MacBook um it shows the grade which is excellent I'm gonna get into that a little bit later the price that I paid for this laptop was $543 five hundred and forty three dollars for this laptop right here you're welcome and it go to the search bar and i'm just gonna put in macbook i want to be a macbook so i typed in macbook next um how i kind of narrowed it down is that i went to filters and picked the year 
um, which is the release date and I wanted something that was you know 2018 and up so I clicked on 2018 and up so it narrows it down to 190 results so y'all I've been sick recently so all this is still yeah so don't mind me so I narrowed it down to 2018 to current and basically just scrolled and try to find the most reasonable price for me um i just want to click on a random one once you click on the item that you want you just gonna click on customize this model and this is where it kind of gets like not really tricky but it narrows it down for you so for colors the only color that they have available is space gray as you guys can see now when you go to capacity obviously that means gigabytes so you choose how much gigabytes you want on your laptop obviously the more gigabytes that you get the more expensive the product is going to be and then last but not least is condition so earlier when you guys see the laptop that I purchased it said um, excellent that's the condition I got it in. Let me tell you guys how the condition goes. So fair is you getting you a scratched up product. The product is going to be scratched up, may have some dents on it, um, a few scrapes, not a few, it's going to have scrapes on it that's visible. But if you're a type of person where you know you're going to slap a, like a case on top of it, then you straight. Now good is it's better than fair. But it's still a few noticeable um, scratches or dents on it. So be aware of that. And then excellent, y'all, is going to be this baby right here. This laptop, I got it in excellent condition, which means, y'all, not like not one scratch I see on there. Like, and I was looking, I was searching, I was looking for it, but not one scratch on there at all. Um, I want to show you guys the laptop without the case, but... I don't feel like taking it off like y'all can just look on my tiktok for the video and you guys will see exactly how it looks because i went into detail and i put people up on game so if you guys are coming from my tiktok to my youtube channel then i appreciate y'all because y'all been had like y'all been in my comment section like what's the buyer's name how many gigabytes i'm just like say say give me a second calm it down even though I am purchasing a refurbished product, I want it in the best condition I can get it in. Um, I don't care if I'm going to slap a case on it. I still want it to look fresh out the box, brand new. And that's exactly what I got. When I received my laptop. It didn't come in the Apple box. It came like wrapped in bubble wrap in a regular white box that they shipped out to me. Um, which was fine but we about to be five months strong with this next month so <sighs> such a great investment for the girlies and guys who do not feel like dropping over a thousand dollars on a laptop great investment y'all go get it okay so the next item that i purchased off of back market is my ipad 10.2 inch ninth generation 2021 64 gigabytes in the color space gray with the wi-fi now y'all seen i bought my laptop on september 12th do y'all see the date that i bought my ipad i was obsessed so it was sold by buy back world that is the buyer so that's the person who um, I bought the product from. Um, one thing about back market, when you're buying something from back market, you're buying it from different buyers. So don't just think, oh, you're buying a MacBook, you're buying it from the same person I bought it from. There's different people selling different items. So that's why you always want to make sure that you look at reviews because there are some people who be like, oh no, the buyer's trash, the buyer, the buyer is not responding back to my messages or this and that, yada, yada. So it's very important for you guys to pay attention to the reviews look at them read them and see if you trust it um because there are some people that just you know they see something they buy it and it's not exactly what it seems the price that i got the ipad for was 289 dollars and 12 cents and that's not bad at all for a 2021 ipad y'all basically 290 dollars that's not bad here she is <laughs> she's beautiful well, that's my case. Case I got for Amazon, y'all. I had to buy my little stickers for it, but it's a composition notebook. Like, it's so cute. 
minute. It's so cute. My iPad. Girls who got them my iPad, you just know they got their life together. If you got the pencil to go with it, then honey, I don't know what to tell you. What are you waiting for? Go get the pencil now. You got the iPad, but you got the pencil. What you doing? Lori, what are you doing? <laughs> so, we're going to get to the pencil in a little bit. But, with the iPad, I am going to take it out the case so you guys can see, like, brand new, y'all. Brand new. So, I can show y'all. See a little bit, like, literally, I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice. But, look at it. Like, no scratches at all. That bit look brand new. Um, I do have a screen protector on the iPad, so it looks a little smudge. But y'all, it literally came brand new, like no scratches at it at all. Like it don't look like it got any scratches. This doesn't look like a refurbished iPad at all. And I did receive my iPad. It did come in a iPad box, so the uh, Apple iPad box. And I was shocked because because I didn't think. So when I did receive my iPad, it did come in an Apple box. Um, of course it was run down, beat up, but I didn't know Black Market did that. So it made me feel a little special because I was like, oh, okay, they care about me. This buyer care about me. <laughs> Cause I really think it's the buyer. It's not really the company. I feel like it's the buyer. So if you're buying it from a person and they give you an Apple box that it really came in the um, with the iPad and I feel like that's great but my laptop didn't come with that but my iPad did so I was happy both products did come with a charger and that's about it the product itself and then a charger um the iPad also came with an adapter for the iPad so I was happy about that too because usually they just give you the charger not the adapter but I have both so I love the seller. Thank you, seller. Same thing with my laptop. No issues with my iPad at all. The only thing about it is that it's 64 gigabytes, so um, not a lot of storage on it. But I mainly just use this iPad just to organize, um, digital plan. That's why I have my pen with me as well. Um, and edit videos. Like, this is the holy grail to editing any of your videos it's just so much easier on the ipad than a laptop um laptop don't get me wrong i like editing on this too but it's just something different with just having it like just editing with this it just feels better so ipad 10 out of 10 i do want the pink one though that pink ipad let's get into the apple pencil so fun fact you guys this is not the apple pencil that i purchased off of back market but i did purchase one though um since you guys can see right here i bought it on september 25th i bought the apple pencil second generation um on september 25th um it was sold by swift tech by i got it in excellent condition and the price for it was a hundred dollars the ipad that i have was not compatible with the apple pencil second generations and i bought me the first generation apple pencil uh, from best buy because i was able to pick it up the same day nothing really too much to explain about the apple pencil it's self-explanatory so yeah guys so that's pretty much it with this video is when you are on back market pay attention to reviews it is so crucial obviously if you're seeing a lot of bad reviews then that just means that that's not a buyer you need to be buying your products from make sure to follow me on tiktok because all the products that i have um bought from back market will be on there i usually do my reviews on there first anyways you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time